So I saw this beautiful milkweed and it was growing right here and it, earlier the bloom was just gorgeous and I kept it that way and then recently I saw how it was going kind of uh, milky and mildewy and there were aphids um, in, in there and I was about to pull it out and I still hesitated because I wanted the bees and other insects to um, to pollinate and have food to eat. So I left it alone. And lo and behold, I thought the season was over for um, itty bitty uh, caterpillars. I thought that they've already gone t to South America or something. But here I have the tiniest little itty bitty I believe monarch caterpillar um, it's it has yellow white and black striations and um, I believe it's the same kind of uh, it's gonna be the same kind of butterfly that that had been in my sister's yard my sister had a milkweed and it had a little um, caterpillar that, well actually it was a pretty big caterpillar that had the same kind of striations, colors, and um, it was uh, huge and then we, we saw it every, from week to week and then um, it became a chrysalis and then um, it hatched and so I thought that there wouldn't be any more but here it is and I just love seeing nature um, here in my homestead and here is how milkweed um, seeds look like so it has kind of a, a pod and then it opens up and it has these tiny little seeds with fuzzy ends and that probably gets blown by the wind or gets stuck on some kind of animal and then gets taken off somewhere else. This milkweed just uh, sprung up on its own. It volunteered. I did not plant it here but I enjoy it and I welcome it and um, I'm going to take those seeds and spawn more milkweeds and maybe have a mini butterfly garden in this area. And that's great for kids to enjoy and look at and learn all about. And also I've learned that butterflies come to milkweeds because they like to eat the leaves and so you'll see le holes on the leaves. but. Um, more importantly, the butterflies come in and feed on it and they lay their eggs on the bottom side of the leaves. And the eggs are little tiny yellowish orange little dots and um, they're about a millimeter wide or one and a half millimeter wide. And um, then they hatch and that's how the caterpillars come about and then they just keep feeding on the plants um, I hope this is enough for it and then uh, when it feeds on it and grows it then converts to the chrysalis form so we'll keep you updated on that Hello, good morning. Today we're going to talk about butterfly weed or blood flower, Asclepius and Asclepius curavosica or A. tuberosa. <clears throat> there are several varieties. Milkweed is the monarch butterfly host plant. 
Asclepias are herbaceous perennial flowering plants known as milkweeds due to their latex milky substance containing cardiac glycosides or cardinalates that are expressed when there is damage to the plant. Most species are toxic to humans and other animals as a result of the cardinalids. However, there are species that consume the leaves and nectar. Oleandrin is one type of cardiac glycoside found in the oleander flowers. The Asclepias genus has over 200 species found in Africa, North America, and South America. It is classified under the dogbane family, Apocyanaceae. Asclepias produce complex flowers com comparable to orchids as five petals bend backwards to showcase uh, gynostegium and structures containing glands and pollen. The size, shape, and color of the horns and hoods of the flowers help to identify species in the genus Asclepias. The process of pollination on these plants are very complex and although butterflies and caterpillars are often on these plants, its pollinators tend to be larger, stronger insects like wasps or bees or other creatures. Insects that are attracted to butterfly weed include bees, wasps, and butterflies. Butterfly weed species produce their seeds in pods known as follicles. The seeds overlap in rows in the pods stuffed with a white silky filament like hairs. The pods emit a cottony fiber called coma, papers, floss, plume, or silk. The follicles ripen and split open and the seeds are blown by the wind. Some milkweeds produce reproduced by clonal or vegetative reproduction. Ecology. American milkweeds are an important nectar source for native bees, <clears throat> wasps, and other nectar-seeking insects. But non-native bees get stuck in the stigmatic slits of the milkweed and die. Milkweed are a larval food source for monarch butterflies and their relatives. Herb herbivorous insects such as Moths, beetles, and true bugs feed on milkweed. Milkweeds use three primary defenses to limit damage caused by caterpillars. Hairs on the leaves, car cardinalide toxins, and to latex fluids. More recently evolved milkweed species use these preventative strategies less but grow faster than older milkweed species. Regrowing faster than caterpillars can consume them. Research shows that high cardinalide content of Asclepius linaria reduces the impact of the parasite on monarch butterfly. Yet other species of milkweed have less of the cardiac glycosides. All parts of milkweed have toxic cardiac glycosides, which can cause nausea, diarrhea, weakness, confusion in small amounts, and seizure or heart rhythm changes, respiratory paralysis, and possibly death in large amounts. Milkweed can irritate the skin and cause temporary blindness if the eye is touched. The milky sap has a bitter taste. <clears throat> Lending the bitter taste to caterpillars, which protects the caterpillars from being eaten um, by birds. Uses: Milkweed are not known commercially, are not grown uh, commercially, but the plants have many uses for humans. Milkweed is used medicinally, has everyday use and military use. <clears throat> Medicinally, it is used as a wart remover and lung disease treatment. Milkweed is grown commercially for hypoallergenic filling for pillows. The coma or floss is hollow and coated with wax and has great potential for insulation. 
Asclepius. Asclepsia is also called silk of America. The silk is also used in the thermal insulation, acoustic insulation, oral, oil absorbance, and for winter coats. The fibers of some milkweed species may be used for cords, strings, and ropes. Many milkweed species contain cardiac glycosides, poisons that inhibit animal cells from maintaining a proper potassium or calcium concentration gradient. People in South America and Africa use arrows poisoned with these glycosides to fight and hunt with. Some milkweeds are toxic enough to cause death when animals consume large quantities of the plant or cause mild dermatitis in some. The leaves of Asclepias species are a food source for monarch butterflies, larvae, and other milkweed but butterflies. These plants are often used in butterfly gardening and monarch way stations. Some species such as Asclepias curassavica or tropical milkweed are planted as an ornamental plant and are not suitable for butterfly way stations. Swamp milkweeds are well-behaved species and are not invasive as common milkweed are. Year-round plantings in the U.S. are controversial because they serve as overwintering sites and year-round breeding of monarchs, which negatively impacts migration patterns and causes a buildup of the monarch parasite O.E. Ophryocystis electroscura. Monarch larvae that consume tropical milkweeds show reduced migratory development development, re reproductive diapause, and when migrating adults are exposed to tropical milkweed, it stimulates reproductive tissue growth. Monarch caterpillars do not prefer Asclepias tuberosa because these milkweeds contain little toxin cardiac glycosides. Red-orange milkweeds Red orange milkweed, scarlet milkweed, tropical milkweed, blood flower bastard, Ipecacuanha, native to American tropics. Milkweed can be toxic at any time but is most dangerous during its active growing season. Flowers occur in clusters in fluorescence about two inches in diameter and bloom from June through August with flowers that are pink, purple, orange, etc. The sea pod the seed pods are three to five inches long after flowering are pale green and covered in bumps that turn brown, split open, and release up to 200 flat brown seeds in the fall. The flat seeds have long filaments of floss attached for adapting to wind dispersal. It prefers full sun and arid environments but can tolerate some shade. According to the U.S. Forest Service and USDA, and written by David Taylor, common milkweed is Asclepias syriaca, Midwest to East Coast variety. A. tuberosa, or pleurisy root, is used for pleurisy and other lung diseases. A. syriaca, it's often found in fence rows, roadsides, fields, and pastures. It is tolerant of light shade, but generally is a full sun species. They grow to about five feet tall with clusters of stems forming colonies. The leaves are six to eight inches long and two to three inches wide. Flowers are greenish pink to purplish pink and sweetly scented. Pods are four inches long and covered with finger-like projections and turn from green to brown, splitting open. They consist of 50 to 100 seeds with a parachute cottony substance for wind dispersal. Over 450 insects feed off of some parts of the milkweed, so they are a significant plant species. Hummingbirds will try to get nectar, but unfortunately will not be able to. Its sap leaves of flowers are food sources. Monarch butterflies lay their eggs on milkweed and their caterpillars feed on milkweed leaves. Pests on milkweed that destroy the plant include red and black milkweed bugs, 
Ligus kilmia and the Oncopeltis fasciitis as both the adults and nymphs are seed predators. They can destroy 80 to 90 percent of the colony's seed crop. The red or orange red and black coloration of most of these insects is known as aposematic coloration, meaning the colors advertise that the organism is not going good to eat. For monarchs, the cardiac glycosides become a defense. The organism stores glycosides in their tissue, which renders them inedible or toxic to predators. Southern butterflies are more toxic than northern ones, and birds leave monarchs alone. Plant milkweeds, where spread is tolerant, as they spread by deep rhizomes. The monarch population decreases by 90, has decreased by 90% in North America recently. Monarch caterpillars feed exclusively on milkweed leaves, and the only host plant for monarchs is the milkweed. Milkweed is critical for a monarch's survival. Without it, they cannot complete their life cycle and their populations decline. This is according to the National Wildlife Federation's blog. Much like pandas eat bamboo exclusively in koalas with eucalyptus. Agricultural, urban, and suburban eradication of milkweed is why monarchs are endangered. Not all milkweeds are toxic, and of those that are, there are varying degrees of toxicity. Planting milkweed is one of the easiest ways to help this species along. There are numerous species of milkweed in North America and in your region. Plant the local species of your region for success. Collect seeds, purchase seeds, or plant to add to your garden. Three species that have wide ranges and are good choices in most regions are common milkweed, A. syriaca, swamp milkweed, A. incarnata, and butterfly weed, A. tuberosa. The last two are highly ornamental and widely available via nurseries. Tropical milkweeds are not native to the U.S. They've naturalized in the southwestern U.S. Its long bloom time may be detrimental on monarch migration and be a source to spread disease within monarch populations. It's recommended to cut the plant back in winter months to encourage monarchs to move on to their natural overwintering sites. Cutting back the stalks to six inches rids of the OE spores as well. In the fall or winter, discourage monarch winter breeding and get seeds from seed companies like Botanical Interests or Xerxes Society. These are seeds for homes, schools, and community groups. Note that if you eat large amounts of improperly prepared milkweed of any species, you may experience bloating, fever, difficulty breathing, dilated pupils, muscle spasms, and possibly death. It can be toxic to humans, animals, livestock, and poultry. The plant has been used medicinally by indigenous tribes as wart remover and chewed its roots to treat dysentery. It was also used in saps and infusions to treat swelling, rashes, coughs, fevers, and asthma. Milkweed grows substantial roots in the first year so it doesn't make a good potted plant. What is killing monarch caterpillars? Well, there are many diseases and parasitic parasites that kill monarchs, including viral, protozoan, fungal, and bacterial infections. These often kill the caterpillars just before they pupate or during the pupa stage. Why are monarch caterpillars turning black and dying? Monarch caterpillars turn black or dark when they are sick with bacterial infections. This is often referred to as Black Death. OE is a protozoan parasite that infects monarchs. You wouldn't be able to tell if a monarch has OE until it's in the pupil or adult stage. Perennial milkweeds grow back year after year. They provide habitat for traveling monarchs. Asclepsis curvasica tropical milkweed is perennial. When upper plants are eaten, lower leaves appear. How do you disinfect milkweed plants? 
A solution made of 10% bleach and 90% water will kill OE spores. To sanitize the milkweed, completely saturate the plants with the solution. Let the bleach work for 5 minutes, then rinse the milkweed several times in clean water. Allow the milkweed to dry before feeding it to caterpillars. What does it mean if a chrysalis turns black? A black or dark chrysalis would indicate that the pupa died. If you gently blend the, bend the chrysalis at the abdomen and it remains bent, the pupa's probably dead, according to Missouri Botanical Gardens Butterfly School. It happens sometimes even when you do everything right. According to Izzy's Little Rock.com, mix hydrogen peroxide and water into a gallon sprayer. Spray the mixture on under the milkweed leaves where the fungus usually lives and on top. This mix is mild enough that it doesn't seem to bother eggs. To be safe, remove caterpillars when spraying. After leaves have dried, replace the caterpillars back on the plant. Why are leaves on milkweed turning yellow and falling off? It could be a bacterial disease spread by leaf hoppers called milkweed yellows or phytoplasma. There's no recommended treatment for this. Just remove the affected plants and discard them. From my research, that's all that I found. I mean, there are more, but it's basically the same thing that basically don't eat anything that is exposed above the ground on the milkweed and the roots are slightly less um, toxic and the Native Americans use that uh, and prepared specially for dysentery and other purposes but mostly grow it for so that it can help the monarch butterfly species along. That's my take on it. And another reason is it is beautiful and makes beautiful blossoms and it is fragrant and it brings about uh, beneficial insects. So there are many benefits that outweigh the toxic effects um, if you're concerned about eating it, don't uh, plant it near your food items and plant it in a decorative way. So that's my take on it. Have a great day.